Hello, my name is May Vega, and welcome to my YouTube channel, aka this video you are watching right now. Um, I also go by Mama May, and this video is about relationships because you guys voted on it on my community page, and I've actually honestly tried to get a question and answer segment going. But none of you will comment, and that pissed me off. Seriously, I was so upset when I saw no questions for me. I mean, honestly, I can't get advice unless you have questions to ask me, and I know you have a lot of questions. So don't even act like that was no big deal and that wasn't important. I'm sorry, but we all know you have questions about me and my lifestyle and life in general. Okay. Off that topic and on to relationships. Um, so I grew up in a village where it was all Adnors. If you guys don't know what an Adnor is, it's somebody like me. I'm I'm a half human, half cat Adnor, also known as a Neko. Um, there's also vampires. Um, there's humans with different sicknesses, sicknesses, humans with superhero uh, powers. Uh, Vampire, I think I already said vampires, werewolves, witches, um, these all are all categorized as Adnors. Um, I lived in, I grew up for a little while in a Adnor village where I met somebody who I thought at the time was amazing and his name was Eric and he was, his mind was amazing. He the way he thought to me was was great until until the day he started changing his ideas he started talking about what the future will hold for Adnor kind and I decided I didn't want to be a part of that I'm the kind of Adnor that wants to help people and be there for people. And when our village was tore down and was treated like criminals because we weren't, they considered us a cult. We're not. We're just another Adnor community that was treated like criminals. I decided that I wanted to change the world. I guess my best relationship advice to you is don't let relationships define who you are. Um, don't let other people define who you are. If you love something to the point of fighting for it, don't let that hold you back. As long as it's something that can help the world and bring peace and it's something you're willing to fight for, don't let anybody else stop you. I started my very first foster home and I found out that there was so many humans and Adnors that needed a place to be. And from there, I fought my way up because as an Adnor there's so much discrimination because we weren't for the longest time we weren't treated as equals especially Nekos like me because of our cat like features we weren't treated the same we weren't treated like humans we were treated like pets and sometimes like slaves and it just, just recently did we get our freedom. So if there's something you're wanting to fight for, don't let somebody else hold you back. Find somebody who will lift you up and help you. Maybe they even like the same interest as you and will assist you or be a part of your project. Listen to their opinions and help them as well but don't go into a relationship that you know will turn out bad in the end 
what I'm trying to say, if it, somebody that hurts you physically, mentally, emotionally, by the words or by their actions, don't even give them a second glance. That's not for you. That's not a relationship that is good for you. I have seen so many of my kids come home crying because somebody treated them bad. Because they were in a horrible relationship that they didn't know about. Of course, I sent my, sent my boys after them. Don't tell anybody I said that. And they got out of it. Every single one of them got out of it. But some people are not as lucky. If you see somebody being mistreated don't give it a second thought. Go and help them. I'm serious. Listen to me. Go and help them. Don't leave them be. If you see something, speak up. The relationship or whatever they're in is not good. If you think they're getting hurt, help them. Get them out of it. Be there for them. Even if they don't want help at that moment, stay in touch with them leave them your number leave them even if they're a complete stranger leave their your number with them because maybe just maybe one day they'll call you up and actually need that help that's actually part of my job part of my job as as a foster mom is to watch and listen i know that's silly but where I'm from, the world I'm from, that is part of my job. Because I take care of both adnors and humans. I guess this, this conversation turned from relationships to safety and recognizing bad relationships. Now these are just my opinions on this matter. This is not, this is not my professional, this is not like professional backed up information with research and sometimes I wish I had that ability but because I was raised differently than most of you humans watching this um, I can only give you my insight as an adnor so with that said if you guys have any questions or any um, other ideas for videos for this series that would be so much so very kind of you for sharing um, um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave a hate, a like, dislike. Don't worry. I won't send my children, my other children after you. Um, but I still hope you have a sparkling, fantastic rest of your afternoon. That your evening is even better and worth breathing, relaxing, and just being yourself. And that you have good you wake up happy and healthy and that your day is even better and I just wish that for you my wonderful ch children watching this right now thank you so much talk to you later